Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. I'm so excited to share this gift with you today. It's the great hymn to the Aten, written by Akhenaten the Pharaoh. And my friends, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever read. And I'll tell you what I love about him. His followers were called children of light. And his artwork, I, I love Egyptian artwork. But you'll notice a lot of it, the gods and the pharaohs, they're just about their duties. With Akhenaten, it shows him playing with his children, kissing his wife. My friends, today, let's just think about being children of light. Let's play with our children. Let's kiss our wives. Let's be good to each other. Let's be love and peaceful and kind. The great hymn to the Aten. Thou appearest beautifully on the horizon of heaven. Thou living Aten, the beginning of life. When thou art risen on the eastern horizon, thou hast filled every land with thy beauty. Thou art gracious, great, glistening, and high over every land. Thy rays encompass the lands to the limit of all that thou hast made. As thou art ray, thou reaches to the ends of them. Thou subduest them for thy beloved Son. Though thou art far away, thy rays are on earth. Though thou art in their faces, no one knows thy going. When thou settest in the western horizon, the land is in darkness, in the manner of death. They sleep in a room with their heads wrapped up. No one sees the other. All their goods which are under their heads might be stolen, but they would not perceive it. Every lion has come forth from its den. All creeping things they sting. Darkness is a shroud, and the earth is in stillness, for he who made them rest in his horizon. At daybreak when thou arisest on the horizon, when thou shinest as the Aten by day, thou drivest away the darkness, and givest thy rays. The two lands are in festivity every day, awake and standing upon their feet. For thou hast raised them up, washing their bodies, taking their clothing. Their arms are raised in praise at thy appearance. All the world, they do their work. All beasts are content with their pasturage. Trees and plants are flourishing. The birds which fly from their nest, their wings are stretched out in praise to thee. All beasts spring upon their feet. Whatever flies and alights, they live when thou hast risen for them. The ships are sailing north and south as well, for every way is open at thy appearance. The fish in the river dart before thy face. The rays are in the midst of the great green sea. Creator of seed and woman, thou makest fluid into man. Who maintainest the son in the womb of his mother? Who soothest him with that which stills his weeping? Thou nurse even in the womb. Who giveth breath to sustain all that he has made? When he descends from the womb to breathe on the day when he is born. Thou openest his mouth completely. Thou suppliest his necessities. When the chick and the egg speaks within the shell. Thou givest him breath within it to maintain him. When thou hast made him his fulfillment within the egg to break it, he come forth from the egg to speak at his completed time. He walks upon his legs when he comes forth from it. How manifold it is what thou hast made. They are hidden from the face of man, O soul God like whom there is no other. Thou didst create the world according to thy desire. While thou wert alone, all men, cattle, and wild beasts 
whatever is on earth going upon its feet, and what is high flying with its wings. The countries of Syria, Nubia, the land of Egypt, thou settest every man in his place. Thou suppliest their necessities, every one has his food, and his time of life is reckoned. Their tongues are separate in speech, and their natures as well. Their skins are distinguished, as thou distinguished the foreign peoples. Thou makest a Nile in the underworld. Thou bringest forth as thou desirest to maintain the people of Egypt, according as thou madest them for thyself. All distant foreign countries, thou makest their life also, for thou hast set a Nile in heaven, that it may descend for them, and make waves upon the mountains like the great green sea, to water their fields and their towns. How effective they are thy plans, O Lord of eternity! The Nile in heaven, it is for the foreign peoples. And for the beast of every desert they go upon their feet, while the true Nile comes from the underworld for Egypt. Thy rays suckle every meadow, when thou risest, they live, they grow for thee. Thou makest the seasons in order to rear all that thou hast made, the winter to cool them, and the heat that they may taste thee. Thou hast made the distant sky in order to rise therein, in order to see all that thou dost make. Whilst thou were alone, rising in thy form is the living Aten appearing, shining, withdrawing, or approaching, thou madest millions of forms of thyself alone, cities, towns, fields, roads, and river. Every eye beholds thee over against them, for thou art the Aten of the day over the earth. Thou art in my heart, and there is no other that knows thee save the sun, for thou hast made him well versed in thy plans, and in thy strength. The world came into being by thy hand, according as thou hast made them. When thou hast risen, they live, and when thou settest, they die. Thou art lifetime, thy own self, for one lives only through thee. Eyes are fixed on beauty until thou settest. All work is laid aside when thou settest in the west, but when thou risest again, Everything is made to flourish for the king, since thou didst found the earth and rise them up for thy son, who came forth from thy body, living and youthful forever and ever. My friends, today be children of light, be love, and have a blessed day.